Welcome back to PSC Stack Bytes. Today we keep on talking about how we can use Microsoft Copilot Studio to create really powerful solution to query content that we have in SharePoint Online and OneDrive for Business. And I want to focus on the security aspects. In fact, whenever you use Microsoft Copilot Studio to read content of documents stored in SharePoint Online and OneDrive libraries, you can rely on the delegated permissions, meaning that every single user will be able to access only the content that she or he is allowed to have access to. However, when you do that, you need to authenticate the user. And in order to do that, you can just rely on the bot framework authentication, as we have seen in the previous episode of this series, or we can also rely on single sign-on experience. And in order to do that, you need to provide proper configuration settings to the Copilot, custom Copilot that you created in Microsoft Copilot Studio. So let's move to the dev environment and let's see how you can do that in practice. So, like in the previous episode, we still are relying on a Contoso HR hypothetical site in which I have a set of documents that, by the way, I generated using Microsoft Copilot for Microsoft 365, which are documents about the HR department. Now I have my custom Copilot built with Copilot Studio, which now is able to authenticate users with single sign-on. Let me show you how. Well, I have my custom copilot right here, this one, the HR Copilot single sign-on. This one has been configured from a generative AI point of view to support the uh, conversational coverage with the generative answers, enabling this flag, uh, this uh, toggle. And I also configured the URL of my target SharePoint online as the target content for the generative AI answers. Then in the settings of my uh, custom copilot, under the security section, I configured in the authentication, the manual authentication and to require the user to sign in. However, in here, I configured the uh, client ID of an application that I'd registered in uh, Azure Entra ID together with its client secret, but I also configured in the token exchange URL configuration field all of the permissions that I want to get on behalf of the user when I will do the authentication. So let me explain you what's going on here. This is the ID, the application ID of an application that I have registered in Azure Entity, and precisely this one. If I show you the settings for this application, aside from the application ID that you can recognize, well, in the authentication section, we have the web authentication platform with this redirect URL, which is exactly the one provided by Copilot Studio right here. Plus, in the settings of the authentication, I have enabled access token and ID tokens as like as I did last uh, in the last episode. Then in the API permission sections, I configure this uh, uh, application to have the files.read.all and the sites.read.all in order to be able to access the SharePoint Online or OneDrive for business content. And I configured a client secret that I have uh, defined right here in the settings of the authentication for my custom copilot. However, I have also defined this time to expose an API. And this API will have a unique app uh, ID or URI for my application, which will be based on the settings that I can find if I go under channels and I click on the Microsoft Teams channel. I edit the details of the Teams channel and in the more section, I can see that I have an application ID for my custom copilot. This unique ID for my custom copilot has to be used with this specific syntax API followed by both ID dash and the ID of my custom copilot. This has to be the unique URI of my custom application. Then I can configure a custom scope, which can have whatever name you like. And you should uh, pre-authorize the following client applications. You can find on the documentation and in the links referred by this video uh, what these uh, uh, client IDs are, but basically are the client ID for the Teams web application and for the Teams desktop and mobile application. So that the uh, custom app that we are talking about will be pre-authorized for those clients. Once we have done that, back to the custom copilot, we can configure in the channel uh, details that we want to use that specific application ID with that specific application unique URI for the single sign-on in Teams. And aside from that, in the security section, back to it, 
where we define the authentication, we can say that in the token exchange URL, we want to have in the on behalf token that we will get on behalf of the currently authenticated user, the custom permission scope that we defined in the Azure Entry ID, plus the files read.all and the site read.all that will be needed to, to get access to the SharePoint Online content on behalf of the user, so that the user will only be able to query and get content based on the documents that she or he is allowed to see. And then I want to get the uh, profile and the open ID during the authentication. By doing that, and by publishing, again, one more time, your custom copilot on the Power Platform environment that you have in target. And by uh, connecting it to a channel, for example, the team channel, when you do that uh, and you see the availability options, again, you can get the package to deploy the solution into the team sub catalog uh, and you can whether click on these buttons to do that to make that happen or you can just download the zip and manually upload it in the app catalog or you can just copy a link and use it directly or share the link with users in target once you have done that in teams you have your bot experience which will be based on single sign-on you can provide any kind of prompt like how can i improve my career and the custom copilot will actually query the content that you have in SharePoint Online and using generative AI and natural language processing will give you back an answer based on the content of those documents together with references to the documents that the information is coming from. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.